What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 5th Node.js tutorial in which I am gonna show you some more things which you can do with the server which we programmed in the last tutorial. So in this tutorial, let's just see what we can do. So I'm just gonna do some housekeeping now. So I'm just gonna clean some things here. So let's just say... I just switch this to HTTP and then I create a server HTTP dot create server engine and then I want server dot listen one three three seven this is the same code as it this is but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add another function to this now what happens is that or I guess I should just close the node first so that doesn't just eat the memory so what happens here is that this function is called every time server sends or basically server receives a request from another computer on this port so node is watching over this port on localhost and every time node receives an, a request this function fires up so if I just do console log server was hit by a request and that's kind of way of saying that you have a request from a user or anything like that so yeah so we what we can do else is that I'm just gonna say console log console log response because response looks great so I'm, I want to know what this response contains and remember that this console log is not the console log of your browser so this console is not this one so you probably might have thought that this would console log this thing into here no it would just console log in the terminal so all of this code is executed on the server and then accordingly things are sent to the front end so let's just compile this again not compile kind of so as you can see it gives me server was hit by a request and if I reload this you can see that this fires up the engine because that's why this was there and again our just our website is struck in a boot loop <laughs> you can say and this is my response or yeah response so it just says domain events um, all that stuff which I don't need and uh, all right just let's just get rid of that I'm just gonna show you some interesting properties so I'm just gonna quit this server for now clear this thing up why not just reset so as you can see as soon as I close the node server the request or the connection gets refused so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say bring back both of these lines and just gonna say request from page and right here request dot URL so let's just see what happens next so I'm just gonna say node script 5.js so it was hit by a request and this just fires I don't know why so maybe just notice just taking a test so as you can see now that it says me here there from server request from page slash so what happens if I do like path one two three as you can see that it says me request from path one two three well this is obviously kind of vulnerable to show your path like that because obviously I can do something like I won't approve this and fortunately node is converting that into escaped HTML but you know I would still won't recommend you to do something like this to show your path or basically to leave 
anything which is you know just submitted by user and just explicitly displaying it on your web page so that is kind of vulnerable so you get the idea you know just that this request dot where it is yeah so request dot url just returns the url which is being requested by the client so obviously you might be thinking that using this you can just place a billion of if else statements and then just show the pages record accordingly well no we have got a better approach we have got better frameworks actually so to deal with so so yeah so that's all for this tutorial and uh, you can just console log the request and response and check them out and there's a lot more to server than this you could actually create your own responses in there and uh, yes you have the file responses or image responses which you can send to the browser which we might be looking when we are done with basics of node so i just don't want to get in that topic real soon because you know let's just take it slow and easy so that's all for this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching